Okay, we have a Panova PW636i-F and it's a digital and analog test set. We have a analog current output, voltage output, binary input and auxiliary DC outputs. And we have a fiber optic parts. Now we using this line protection really to test the line distance protection. I'm going to show you how to connect the fiber optics. First we have a GOOS publish and SMV, GOOS receive and we need uh, three fiber optic cables. First GOOS publish connect to port 1 and second SM the message will be connected to part 2 and last goes to receive will be connected to part 3 and that's it for the connection Open power test, basic, select quick test, and press IEC to, to goose mapping, select SCL file and open the CID file, find the relay and goose inputs, SMV inputs, and subscribe it. After this, goes output and subscribe it. Press OK. And uh, we're using the Chinese relay, so all the characters is in Chinese here. Select the relay three pin signal and in goes publish. Select the relay initial states here. And for SMV, according to the mapping, select the correct uh, messages. After the goose mapping is done, we use the quick, quick test module to confirm the signal quality using 1 amperes and nominal voltage here and click run. You should be able to see the value on the relay screen. As we can see, all the signals are correct. Now click lock and now let's simulate some 
defaults manually to see the goods publish response correctly and click lock and it's trip it means goods publish response is correct next part will be using template to test the di distance relay go to test manager and click the template and find the template that you want to use so here we're using pcs931 and after you open it, the template you can change the settings parameters and everything you want according to your situation so now in our situation the setting is uh, for the zones are 246 as you can see the point after we change in the uh, settings the points will be changed automatically after that you just have to click run and then test is running and this test we will test the inner zone and after the zone the inner zone will be trip and next step will be check out zone and it will be uh, checking all the zones now we are testing ground distance element zone 2 during the faults are in the uh, inner zone the relay will be trip and out of the zone relay will not trip so here in the results we can see tripping time in the inner zone and in the after zone the relay is not stripped so we can have any trip time in the after zone now we simulate the zone 3 ground distance faults when it tripped in the zone but uh, really tripped three phase because of the relay logic Next points are simulating face distance faults. First, it will be start from inner zone of the zone one. As we, as I said, when the faults are in the zone, relay really will be trip, and we can measure trip times, and if defaults are out of the zone relay will not trip it will be same in the zone 2 and zone 3 the inner faults in the inner zone will be relay will be trip and uh, after the zone relay will not trip
After testing all the points are successfully, click report, go to settings. Here we can edit the report titles, station name, station name address, and test and uh, other information that you want to fill in. Here we're using PCS 931 relay and a test reset being and here choose what which information that you want to show in your report. And click OK and go to report. Just when it's it's correct. You can close the report. Yeah, and you can save the report into Microsoft Word format. Now it's loading the report. Here we have a report.